A calculated cold-blooded murder or a random robbery gone bad? Those are the questions and fears running through a prominent uptown apartment building where a dentist was shot to death Wednesday night. One of the only clues police have is a picture of a person of interest, a person driving a Jeep. Fox 4's James Rose is at the Gables Park Apartments where it happened. All right, James, I know that investigators have been talking to a lot of people, and there were some witnesses. Anything more solid than just this picture of the Jeep right now? At this point, no, but I can tell you I spoke with the medical examiner's office late this afternoon, and I am told that Dr. Hatcher did die of a single gunshot wound to the head and neck. And as far as police, again, they're just telling residents and people that come to this area, again, very popular area, a lot of people come here to eat. They're telling them to just uh, be very vigilant, be aware of your surroundings as they continue to investigate this. And as you said, their best clue is that grant a Jeep Cherokee. Close friends come to cry, pray, and remember 35-year-old dentist Dr. Kendra Hatcher. She was shot and killed Wednesday evening in the garage of her uptown Dallas luxury apartment. Gail Morvey came out of concern and curiosity. I was actually looking for it. They have a lot of gables, and I wanted to see how close it was to my house. Investigators Thursday made a public plea for help in identifying whoever's driving this older model Jeep Cherokee. The vehicle has damaged or faded paint on the hood and paper tags. Police say the vehicle followed a car into the parking garage, and moments later, when Hatcher pulled in and parked, a single gunshot was heard. And this vehicle was seen driving out of the garage. It's tragedy that you can't even be safe, but you pay attention everywhere. We couldn't get into the Gables Park 17 today, but saw a Dallas police officer going inside. For residents, the uncertainty is unsettling. In either situation, I think it's, it, they're both very terrible and tragic, but um, I, I think everybody kind of feels that if it had been a random aggravated robbery, um, it would have been a little more scary because then you're thinking, how did that person get in? Why did they spend so much effort to get in and out? As bad as it is to say, you kind of hope it's somebody that, unfortunately, they knew in some capacity. The Thursday night, co-workers held a candlelight service, remembering a woman who loved life, traveling, and working with children. The dental office in Irving, where she worked, has been closed since her murder. Now, I tried to speak to the general manager here. I left my number. Uh, I never got a call back. I've talked to a lot of residents here, one just a few moments ago, who says, you know what, there are some people that are you know, concerned about this, but there are others that are absolutely livid that something happened here on their property. And the other thing that uh, I've been hearing all day is that a lot of petty crimes have been occurring here in the garage, cars break, broken into, uh, some burglaries in the building, and they have been trying to get uh, this organization to do something to tighten security. And now this, so there's a lot of frustration, anger, outrage, and concern in this community right now, Heather. Yeah, protection and answers. Doesn't seem like a lot to ask from those folks, but all right, we're going to keep watching the story. James, right. thank you.